All right guys, let me show you how to make a regular lighter a lot more efficient. First thing I do is see this little metal piece in the middle here for a Bic lighter. Bic is just flawless, it seems like, in terms of one flick, one light, simple ignition. But see this little metal thing right here in the middle? This is a protector, I believe it's for um, like children, and you don't actually need that, um, so you can remove it, and I'll show you, and it makes it all 10 times easier, so let me show you how to do that real quick. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken a knife and put it underneath there, and I just wedged it up a little bit with a knife, and now I'm gonna take it off. All right, so I just took it off, that metal piece, and it went flying across my deck, so I'm not gonna try to find it, but there you go, just like that. So doing that does make it easier to light and ignite this thing, but what I will tell you is there was a little baffled edge of this metal piece that was right here that keeps that flame from coming here against your finger. So now when I light it, do you see how it could actually, it's a little bit, a lot closer to my finger right there versus that little baffled light will push it up just slightly over your finger. And that's kind of what that is also there for. So, but I will tell you, this is a whole lot easier um, to do. And uh, even if you're trying to train like a teenager or something, it's or, or a younger kid, it's a lot easier for them to turn it without that uh, little uh, guard on there. Let me show you some other really quick, cool things. So another really cool thing is you can take twine that you can get at Walmart. This entire spool, I think, was $3. You can wrap twine around your lighter and the twine will be used as fire starter and things like that it's a very 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 good fire starter so i'll wrap some of that around here real quick all right so i just wrapped some twine around here i burnt the end so it doesn't unfray and now i'm going to tuck this end back underneath the back end i'll show you exactly how that looks so it stays put so there it is and you notice i didn't push the twine all the way up to the top just in case by chance the lighter is sideways or something uh and the flame kind of rolls around the end i can push it up a little bit more i can tell just a little bit maybe that's good um that's probably good and safe but that gives me some room here to put some other stuff on. i'm going to show you and here's how i tucked it up underneath there you can see that right there and then yeah burn this up here just a little bit more just to fray that together and melt that together so it doesn't come undone all right so i melted that together a little bit and then uh, i also took the lighter and just kind of rolled the flame around here just taking away some of the access uh like little hairs and stuff like that but that gives me uh, some good fire material if I ever need in an emergency and then we take it to the next step. So my next step is going to be to take a piece of duct tape at least about 12 inches and then I'm going to split it in half because this is a two inch wide piece. If you have a one inch wide roll then just use, you don't need to split it like I am, but I'm going to split this right down the middle. Sorry, I'm using one hand. I'm going to split this right down the middle and uh, you'll see what it looks like. So there I have two uh, pieces of duct tape about 12 inches long each about one inch wide approximately, and uh, I will put that on the lighter now. Now, what I like to do, and you don't have to do this, is I will start that duct tape uh, covering up the other, the piece of twine that was sticking out. That way it also hold that twine in there really, really well. And now I will just wrap the rest around the bottom. So there is one wrap of duct tape, and I'll put the other one on. All right, so a really easy way to roll is going to be to attach the duct tape to something and then put it onto your lighter. And then I put the straight end on the bottom, as you can see there, and I will just begin to roll and roll it up on there. Just like that, going slow. Rolling it all the way on there. All right, guys, and there you have it. A super, super awesome prepper bug out bag kind of uh, lighter that is just all prepped out, geared out. There's a few other things you could do to it, but um, that's what that's the easiest thing. It's really, really cool. And uh, like I said, if it's wet, you can use this bottom piece right here. This stuff will ignite really, really, really good when it's wet. If this stuff gets uh, wet, then you, it may not work as well. This stuff will. And if it's dry or whatever, you have this as well. So it's just really cool, easy to do. And uh, it's not that much bigger, fits in your pocket really well and super cool. There you go, try it out. What's up, guys? If you liked that video, be sure to check this one here below as well. I'm sure you'll love it. Look forward to seeing you here every single day. Got new videos every single day for you. Appreciate you guys. Talk to you soon.